Hey, welcome back. So over the weekend, I was web surfing a bit and I saw that Nickelback and their former record label, Roadrunner Record, Warner Chapel Music, and Live Nation Entertainment all got hit with a copyright lawsuit over their song called Rockstar. Uh, they got hit with the lawsuit by a guy named Kirk Johnson, who also wrote a song that has the same theme and title, Rockstar. So I thought I'd talk about the lawsuit, what's going on with it, and take a listen to both of the song, analyze them, compare them, and see if we can figure out whether or not Nickelback really ripped off Rockstar. So I will be paraphrasing and reading some of the stuff that is being said in the Ultimate Guitar article. Uh, but if you want to read the whole thing yourself, I will leave a link to this article down in the description box below. So the suit alleges that Nickelback copied Kirk's original song, Rockstar, which he wrote in 2001. In August 2001, Kirk's band, Snowblind Revival, made a master recording of Rockstar along with a few other original songs, then made 15 copies that were then sent to several record labels, including Universal Music Group and Warner Music Group. Kirk claims that Nickelback had direct access to his song Rockstar and says that a substantial amount of the music in Nickelback's Rockstar is copied from my original composition, uh, the tempo, song form, melodic structure, harmonic structure, and lyrical themes. Kirk seeks damages for copyright infringement and an injunction against further infringement. Nickelback responded saying, uh, Johnson has no right to make a copyright infringement claim because fundamentally the work at issue are not substantially similar to an ordinary observer. So that is your story and the lawsuit right there. So now, let's check out both of their songs. Gonna be a rock star someday Gonna ride the tubers Because I don't like jet planes Gonna make lots of money Live life in the fast lane Gonna be a rock star someday and that is Rockstar by Snowblind Revival. So let's check out Nickelback. tell that there are uh, a few similarities between the two songs and the lyrics and as well as the chords they both use. And I'll talk more about the chord progression side of things on both of the songs in just a minute. But on the lyrics side of things, you can definitely tell uh, both of them share the exact same uh, theme. Talks about being a rock star and making a bunch of money. Alright, now let's talk about the key of both of the songs. Uh, Snowblind Revival Rockstar is in the key of A major. And so the guitar goes something like... The chord progressions of Snowblind Revival Rockstar is a, a one. Then a four. And then five. So that is the chord progression and the BPM for this is at 155 beats per minute. 
Uh, so now let's talk about Nickelback Rockstar. Uh, so uh, Nickelback is at 144 BPM, so slightly slower than uh, Snowblind Revival, and their key is in C major. So the song starts out with open G, C, F major, back to G. Alright, so you have a 5, then a 1, then a 4. Alright, so after learning the chords, you probably figured out that both of these share the same chord progression, or sort of. Both of these songs use the same 1-4-5 uh, chord, and they are all major chords. Both of these songs are in a different key, different beats per minute, but the song's theme, title, uh, some of the lyrics are very similar to one another. So let me know what you think of the lawsuit down below. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and also subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next video.